Hey folks, Jürgen, nerd and proud of it. Welcome to another video of mine. I'm very happy you found your way back here. I hope you are all having a wonderful day. This time I don't have a reserve list by a video for you. This time I have something different. As you can see, there are a lot of cards here I'm showing you in the video. This is a vintage deck. This is the vintage deck I am currently building. This is the vintage deck I'm actually buying the reserve list cards for. There are a lot of cards in here I already had. And uh, to finish the deck, the idea I have, I have to buy a couple more that should fit in here. And that's what I'm currently doing with the reserve list buys. So they are not only for my collection, but they are also for the vintage deck I am currently building. As I told you, I had this vintage deck idea with four Guardian Beasts and four Wishclaw Talismans. I explained the combo to you in the reserved list by video where I showed you the Guardian Beasts I bought. The Wishclaw Talisman basically searches a card for you and then normally you pass it on to your opponent, but with the Guardian Beast you don't have to. So that's, uh, that's the combo that I built the deck idea up on. And I know, I know, it's not the best deck in the world. It's not really heavily competitive. It's more or less for fun for me. I like the cards, uh, I like the combo, and I wanted to use my old cards to have some fun to play vintage with my friend. And that's what we're doing. So, yeah, don't expect a deck that will win tournaments. But it's fun for me, and that's the purpose of this. As you see, my other reserved list buys are in here. Of course, I put the four copy artifacts in here as well. I presented those to you in another reserved list by video. Um, I really like the card and I think I can copy the Wishclaw Talisman and I can copy the Moxus at the moment uh, and uh, the Soul Ring. But uh, I probably need a more expensive artifact to make it worthwhile to have the copy artifacts in here. But I like the card and I want to build it around the copy artifact as well as much as the guardian beasts and the wishclaw talismans so that's why i put them in here and i don't want to leave them out simply because i want to play them and i like them as you see i have a couple of power cards left i have a couple of moxes left the mox uh, sapphire emerald and the pearl um i bought the time walk uh, you saw that in another video as well i still have another time walk but of course it's restricted and i can only use one so i'm using the one i bought in good condition and as you see i still have a couple of dual lands um, i used to play a counter blast deck red and blue so i back really back in the day uh, it was one of my first decks i had it for a long time and back then I had all the power nine cards, but I was foolish enough as most of us to sell some. So I have to buy some back. Um, so I still have the volcanic islands, all four of them. I have a couple of underground seas left. So I still need one more underground sea to complete uh, my playset, And uh, I have a couple of uh, bad lands left. So I need two more playsets to complete a playset of bad lands as well. To complete my mana base, I bought a couple of pathways, um, not too expensive. I think I bought them for about four uh, bucks a piece. The blight step pathway and the seer step pathway, the black and red one, um, is from Kaltheim. Uh, the other, uh, the blue red one and the black blue one. Uh, those two are from Sendika Rising, of course. Cards like the Demonic Tutor, I, yeah, I have them since my beginning days of playing Magic the Gathering. I got the Tutor in a revised booster pack. It has seen a lot of matches and I really, really like the card. And I'm using black, so I have to use the Demonic Tutor. Although, of course, I can search for cards with a Wishclaw Talisman, but another search card is uh, never a bad idea. Um, other cards like uh, the four um, Lightning Bolts, it's a bit of the same story. I got them in revised boosters. They are still looking quite okay, I think. Uh, might be because when I started to play with Sleeves, I was starting to use the Counter Blast deck, so they might not have seen a lot of matches without Sleeve. The Mana Drains I bought recently uh, should be Iconic Masters, I think. Um, 
I had four Legends Mana Drains and I sold them back in the day as I did with a lot of cards, unfortunately. But it is what it is. I was young and I needed the money. And uh, cards like the Vampiric Tutor, the Mana Crypt, the Mox Opal, the Ugin, I bought them all, Pact of Negation, just, uh, just to complete the deck. The four Force of Wills, for example, I had them as well for a very long time. Uh, never got rid of that playset uh, in the time I had to sell some cards. They weren't that much, so they never got sold and stayed in the binder. And finally, the three multicolored cards, the Cast Dissident Mage, the Nicol Bolas, the Ravager, and the Cro Croesus Charm? Croesus's Charm? Difficult one. Um, I bought those uh, as well uh, for a couple of bucks. They are not really expensive. Just uh, to fill out the deck um, and um, to uh, use some modern cards together with the old ones that appeal to me. So yeah, that was the reason for that. And in general, the whole idea, of course, because you see there are not a lot of winning conditions for this deck, which is fine. Uh, I still need to think of some which might add to the value of the deck, to the playing value of the deck, uh, not the financial value, which is uh, already quite high. But um, the winning conditions currently are the Fireball, uh, the Cast Dissident Mage to get my uh, Fireball back uh, and to get my Lightning Balls back. Uh, Nicol Bolas, of course, uh, is one of the winning conditions. I could uh, finish him uh, or her with um, with that. And last but not least, uh, the Ugin, of course, could finish the game as well. So, yeah, there's some stuff in there. I might add another burn spell or two just to make sure I get them, I can search for them, and uh, together with the mana drains, have enough mana to uh, finish them in one round or whatever, something like this. I played it a couple of times and I was able to kill my opponent, so that's uh, that's all right. As you can see, there are still a couple of cards with the Magic the Gathering logo. These are just lands, so it's not that I already bought them and haven't turned them around, but uh, there are a couple of cards I want to add to the deck uh, in the current form. I have it in my mind and those cards I simply don't have yet. And these cards are the reserved list buys I'm showing you. You might get what the top three up there uh, are probably going to be. I have some cards in my mind. Uh, of course, I would love to have the Lotus in there, but I simply don't have the funds for it. So it's not the Lotus, but let's see what I can come up with and what I can find on the market to fill out those slots. Uh, I have one more land slot I want to fill, um, and then I might rearrange the deck here and there a bit, of course. Uh, one more land slot besides the dual lands, of course, because I wanna wanna complete my play sets of the of the duels uh, for sure. Uh, Underground Sea might be might be the uh, tricky one to find uh, for a reasonable price, but let's see. Um, I hope I can find one that's not too expensive. And that's my idea for a vintage deck. Again, it's not perfect yet. It's not there yet. I mean, I need to counter everything uh, that um, is a threat for my fireball. Uh, need to counter expensive stuff with the mana drain, uh, bring out the Ugin for free, uh, play a big fireball, bring it back with the cast dissident mage, bring out Nicol Bolas. Um, yeah, these kind of things. But. It works. I can search for every card I want to because I got a lot of wish cloud talisman if uh, talismans if I want to have them. My artifacts are all protected, uh, so um, that's why I don't use that many lands. Uh, normally, I think I have like 20. No, it's 12, 18 lands, 19 with uh, the one I still want to add. Then the three moxes, uh, the soul ring. Yeah. Um, Mana base should be all right. I might add one or two more lands and remove a couple of cards, but let's see. Um, yeah, that's that's my vintage deck. So that's I'm I'm actually buying those uh, reserved list cards for a purpose, uh, not only to have them, put them in a binder, and uh, let them sit there and uh, get worth a lot more money. Uh, hopefully, uh, if not, it's okay as well because I love the game and um, 
I, I love the cards and they are nostalgic to me. So yeah, if they would be worth more, it's a side effect that's nice as well. But yes, that's uh, that's my vintage deck. Video got a lot longer than I uh, than I expected. Uh, <laughs> a lot of explaining about the cards, where they came from, what they mean to me, um, and what I am using them for. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as you did the others. There's another reserved list by video coming. I already received the card. I just have to record the video. So um, look out for that one. Make sure to uh, give me a like, uh, hit the subscribe button would be awesome. Would help me a lot. Um, let me know what you think about my vintage deck. If you think the idea is uh, BS or if you think the idea is quite nice. For me, it works. It's a fun game to play, a fun deck to play, I mean. And uh, in the meanwhile, stay frosty and have a great day, folks. So talk to you next time. Enjoy. Bye.